Pan de parlor di a diwedd dwarnod cyntaf digon poblogaeth Gwilym. Wel, mwy am poblogaeth yr iwoedd yn ôl cadeirydd y cyngor. Here we are this week in North Wales, a truly beautiful area, though windy. This part is called Cloyd, and Cloyd is Welsh for gate. And that's what Cloyd is, gateway to Wales. Mind you, they've got some very funny names around here. Take loggerheads, for instance. I don't remember visiting the place myself, but my mother says it's somewhere we've been at many times. And this place, where we're at at the moment, isn't so good either. It's called Mould. Sounds like the place where Fleming discovered penicillin. I'll say one thing about it. It grows on you. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Let me put it this way. This is a place, once you've visited it, you don't want to leave. Take my first guest, for example. He is, would you believe, a Hungarian theatre director, who now is artistic director of the magnificent Cluid Theatre overlooking the Cluidian Mountains. He came here for a visit, or so he thought. Anyway, let him speak for himself. He is George Roman. Well, George, from Hungary to Cloyd, but not without a few stops along the way. Well, I, I came really here from Swansea, where I was teaching at the university, at the extramural department. I had a, a very committed, uh, a sense of affinity towards the Welsh. Yeah. I, I learned to know Wales underground before I learned to know it above, because I worked as a documentary film director for the Core Board. And, uh, and I found the characteristics of the Welsh very similar to the Hungarians. Uh, their warmth, their welcoming uh, delight in culture, in the, their sense of identity, I think is um, probably stemming from being a minority where the cultural identity was often threatened and uh, I